The NFL season is finally here, and the NBC Sports Predictor app is giving you two shots. You heard me, not one, but two shots at winning $100,000 by entering Sunday Night 7's free contest. It's free, and you can win hundred grand. What more do you need? Okay, the first is this Thursday night. You need to guess what's going to happen between the Bills and the Rams as the teams usher in the 2022 season. Then on Sunday night, you'll have another chance for another hundred grand when the Buccaneers face the Cowboys. If you don't have the Predictor app, go download, don't, go download it now wherever you get apps. Again, it's free. If you don't, the only reason you shouldn't download it is if you hate free money. But if you like free money, if you're like me and Jay Croucher, you need to download the NBC Sports Predictor app and play the Sunday Seven. Uh, so let's do this now for the game on Thursday night. This will also be, I think, informative for anyone that might be uh, placing a wager on these players uh, or how you think the game will play out. First, uh, first number one, I guess, is total points, Jay. How many total points do we think are scored in this game? A lot of options for us here. Total for the game is currently 52.5, according to FanDuel. Yeah, it's a high total, and the way to think about totals, because, I mean, that, that's just a number in isolation, but the average total for an NFL game in the betting market is 48. So just always think about totals relative to 48. So this is four and a half points over that, which makes sense. We've got Josh Allen, yep. Matthew Stafford, and all the offensive talent. So if I'm going to make a pick here, uh, and they're all pretty difficult, kind of low outcome probabilities, but I'd say 49 to 52, just because that's the closest around the betting market total. And 51 is the magic number. 5% of games finish on 51. That's just, for whatever reason, the scoring distribution, a lot of love for 51 in the NFL. So that would be my pick there. I'm not going to argue with the math right there. What I will say is, is that we expect fireworks. We expect, you know, two really good offenses. They might start a little bit slow, but, uh, you know, Rams... Rams have to figure out their defense. Obviously, Von Miller going to be, uh, you know, looking at him from the other side now, right? And uh, obviously, there's some injuries on the Bills' side of the ball there. So this should be a fun one. One of the other ones, so I'm going to go with you. I agree with you. Give me the 49 to 52 point range on that one. Another question that comes up in the predictor app for this one, more receiving yards. Stefan Diggs or my little Cooper Cup? I think this is an easy one. This is Cooper Cup. He's just yes. he's set 30 yards higher than Diggs. Uh, he's we have the track record, uh, and I think that you know Diggs in terms of fantasy value, if he's going to catch Cup over the course of a season, it would be with touchdowns. Cup just accumulates yards. Uh, you know we saw in the Super Bowl when Odell Beckham went down, he's getting triple teamed every play, and I was watching him every single play to ride my Cooper Cup Super Bowl MVP bet. Uh, he's still getting fed the ball. He just gets open. He just accumulates yards. Okay. We agree. We agree on Cooper Cup. Okay. Now the next one for you, Josh Allen, Matthew Stafford. Who do you think has more passing yards? Yeah, I'm uh, Josh Allen or Matthew Stafford. I'm gonna go with Matthew Stafford. Oh, 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 you know, just again, I'd rather go against the Bills secondary than the Rams secondary here. Josh Allen gets you, you know, points with his yards as well. So I'm going to take Matthew Stafford. Remember, his yard passing yard prop is 265 and a half. He went over this number 12 times last year. I think they're going to have to throw to keep up with the Bills. I, they're, 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 the, uh, they're, the, uh, they're the underdogs here. We expect them to be trailing. They'll be throwing. Again, we already talked about the running backs are banged up as well. The way the Rams move the ball in this game is by passing. Yes, I agree. Now, lastly, we've got to pick a winner okay. for the game. So the Bills, they're minus 130 favorites over the Super Bowl champ Rams. Not getting much respect. They're the plus 110 underdog. Forget about the, forget about the, the odds. Just who do you think is going to win? I think the Rams win this game. The defending Super Bowl champ has dominated on Sunday Night Football opening night. 11-4 straight-up record in 16 seasons of Sunday Night Football. By the way, Sean McVay 5-0 and straight up and against the spread in Week 1 games. Give me the Rams at home. Okay. I hate agreeing with you, but uh, I'm going to go with the Rams as well. This line, The Rams were favored when this line opened, and now they're two-and-a-half-point underdogs. There was just an absolute shower of love for the Buffalo Bills, and I think that it's gone a little bit too far. I think they still have weaknesses on the offensive line at cornerback, and also maybe the more controversial thing is I don't think there's that big of a gap between Josh Allen and Matthew Stafford. I think because he threw all the weird picks last year that people are forgetting that Matthew Stafford is one of the most talented quarterbacks in the league. Josh Allen turns it over a lot too. I feel like, you know, when I look at this line, and you're somebody who sets lines and you did that for points, but I feel like when I look at this line with the Bills being favored the way they are, the books are begging you to bet the Rams. Yeah. That's what they are. They're begging you to bet the Rams just because there's so much money on the on the Bills. Fading the public is never a bad idea. Worth noting, 
straight up uh, in week one games over the last five years, the Bills were three and two. All three of their wins came against the Jets. <laughs> Different story across the country in L.A. against the defending Super Bowl champ Rams and Sean McVay. Again, is 5-0 and oh straight up and against the spread in week one games. Give me the Rams getting two and a half. I love that, and I like them straight up as well. So uh, we are there. Hey, it's Matthew Barry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotor World, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.